Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC such that we got this green square inside this triangle. As you can see in this figure and moreover, the altitude of this triangle is two units, whereas the side length AB is three units and now we are going to find the area of this green square so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's suppose that the side length of this square is a this side is a since all sides of a square have the same length so this side is a as well likewise this is a and this side is a as well now let's go ahead and focus on this altitude, this one which is two units and this height is A units. Then we know that this height, this is going to be two minus A. So thus we conclude that the altitude of this smaller triangle, the shaded one, triangle DEC is 2 minus A, this altitude. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two triangles. The first one is bigger triangle ABC and the other triangle is this smaller one DEC. And we can see that this angle is same as this angle because they are corresponding angles. Likewise, this angle is same as this angle. Once again, they are corresponding angles and both of these triangles, they share this angle C. Therefore, we conclude that these triangles ABC and triangle DEC are similar triangles according to angle, angle, angle theorem. And here's our angle, angle, angle theorem. If in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then the triangles are said to be similar. So since these two triangles are similar, so we can have these proportions, I can write 3 over A equals to 2 divided by 2 minus A. Now we are going to cross multiply to remove these fractions. We're going to go this way. So that is going to give us 3 times 2 minus A is going to mix 6 minus 3 A equals to on the other side becomes 2a. So let's add 3a on both sides. So this is gone. So we ended up 6 equal to 5a. Let's isolate a by dividing by 5. So our a value turns out to be 6 over 5. So thus the side length of this green square turns out to be 6 divided by 5. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green square. And here's the area of a square formula A equal to S square where S represents the side length of a square. In our case the side length is 6 over 5 so our area is going to become simply a equals to 6 divided by 5 square and if we take the square on the right hand side that's going to give us 36 divided by 25 so thus the area of this green square turns out to be 36 divided by 25 square units or in terms of decimal it is going to be a 1.44 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.